This is a UK first. This is the first time we've had a vehicle driving driverless in a public environment. Wow, absolutely no hands. Wow, amazing. I'd probably be pressing pedals and, you know, very backseat driver sort of approach. These are really driverless. There is a steering wheel in the vehicle for safety reasons, but this is a really autonomous control where the system is thinking for itself. So as it's driving, it has some cameras on the front and it's taking pictures 20 times a second in very high resolution. And it also has a few lasers that are spinning very fast as well. So it's using both pictures and laser light to see what's around it. If it doesn't like any of those things or it thinks that it should give way to someone, it will pause, wait for that person or object to move or that cyclist or that dog, wait for it to pass and then move on, getting you from A to B. It has been tested extensively, so safety has been our primary consideration throughout this project. In the UK, approximately 1,700 people, unfortunately, uh, are killed on the roads each year. Over 90% of road accidents are caused in some way by human error. These systems have the opportunity of reducing that risk of human error enormously. Our next step is to develop a, a test fleet of around 40 vehicles to, to mimic a public transport system for the city centre. The middle of next year we'll be rolling out the, the vehicle as a fleet and asking people to come and use them and, and test the capabilities to see if it can really enhance the city. 